Today I'm going to continue in my series on how to properly configure the Qtile window manager. Qtile is a really neat tiling window manager written entirely in Python. In previous videos I've shown you how to get started with Qtile, how to set up your workspaces, how to configure your layouts. Today we're going to configure the bar in Qtile. What is the bar? The bar is the panel. The panel that holds all your workspace names, window names, and any other widgets you want to add to that particular panel. So how you do this, first we should go to the Qtile documentation. So I would go to qtile.org. That is the official website for Qtile. I would click on documentation and then I would do a search. Really what we want to search for here is widgets. So type the word widgets in the search field and you get built-in widgets. These are the built-in widgets that are available for the Qtile panel. So now that we have the documentation up, let me switch to the desktop and I'm opened up the Qtile config. Now this is the default Qtile config. This is not my custom config. I figured for purposes of this video, if we're going to take the trouble of showing you how to add all these widgets to the panel, how to configure the panel, let's start with the default config. So I pulled up the config here in Vim. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down the config until you get to this right here this section here that starts with the word screens screens are basically your monitor somewhere in here you're going to have bottom equals bar that is basically saying hey draw a bar a panel where to place it we're gonna place it at the bottom of the screen we could change that of course I could change that to the top and then in the brackets here, all these widgets, widget group box, widget prompt, widget window name, widget text box, etc. These are the widgets that are actually being displayed on the panel. Pretty simple format, right? If this is not rocket science. So if I wanted to add something, a new widget to the panel, all I would need to do is go find the widget I want to add here in the documentation. Now here are the built-in widgets. It's a very long list on this page. There are a million widgets you could add to the panel. I'm going to add a really simple one that I think most of you probably wouldn't mind having on your panel anyway. There's one called net. So you see that the class libqtile.widget.net with a capital N. That's really all I needed to know there. And I will add that. You know what? I'll add it right behind the sys tray here. So let me add widget.net with a capital N and then parentheses and then a comma. Now this is not going to work out of the box. What you need to do is go back into the documentation. Many of the widgets just work because they have default values that they just automatically default to, but the net widget, uh, we have these keys and then the values for those keys here in this table. You need to find the key that says interface. By default, the value for interface is set to none, but this needs to be the name of your interface, such as ETH0, or in my case, it's going to be ENP4SO or whatever it is. So I'm going to go back in here. What I need to do is in the parentheses, I need to type interface equals, and then in quotes, ENP4S0. Let me escape. Let me write this. So colon W to write here in Vim. And I believe the default settings in Qtile to restart your window manager are mod control R. If I do that, now the panel should have the up and down speed for our internet. And it does. You see right here we have the sys tray, which is letting me know I have OBS Studio open, which of course I'm recording in. But right behind it, you see I have the up speed and the down speed in bytes. I know the font is small. I really can't uh, make that change. But, uh, right now to make that bigger for you guys to see but trust me there is a internet widget right here in the panel now so not very difficult to add these widgets to the panel and like i said there's a million of them available for you so let me restart qtile with my own personal config my customized config quite heavily customized config so i've relaunched qtile with my own config i've opened my own config here in do me max and I've zoomed in so you guys can see my config, but you can see my customized bar at the top with my workspaces, with the name of the windows, and then right here where you see the power line like arrows here, these are the widgets I've added to my panel, which is the net widget, 
the layouts, the name of the layouts. This here tells me how many updates are available right now in Pac-Man. This is a CMUS widget. I use CMUS for my music player. Right now, nothing's playing, so there's nothing in this widget. Then I have the clock widget. I also have a sys tray widget, but it's only active when I have the sys tray up and running and when I'm actually using programs that would use the sys tray. So I'm going to page down here in my config until I find where I have the bar configuration in my config.py here. And I have bar colors. This sets the colors that I'm going to use in the bar. And the colors are in this list here. And remember the colors are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. You always start with 0. So the very first color is this dark, almost black color. That is the background of the bar. And the reason I mention that is once I get into the widgets down here, you see I have this comment here that says widgets, and then I have widget list. And I'm going to have all these widgets that appear in the panel. And you will see that I have foreground equals colors 2, background equals colors 0. Where is it getting these colors? Why is it searching for these numbers? Well, these numbers were back here in my config where I set the colors in this list. Color 0 was this first one. Color 2 was the actually the third one in the list because, again, we number them 0, 1, 2. Well, let me get back to the widget list here. All right, the widgets I use. I am using very first thing in the list is the widget separator. It's a separator. All it is is just taking up some space on the bar. And the reason I have this as the first widget is because if I didn't have the separator here, the very first widget would be the group box, which is the workspace names. And if I don't have a separator in front of that, that very first workspace name, the www, is going to really be close to the side of the screen because there's no padding. So I put a widget separator there to give me some padding between the edge of the screen and the start of the workspaces. The next widget is probably the most important widget on the bar, which is the workspaces here. This widget actually is called widget.groupbox. And you have to be careful with the capitalization. So the G in group is capitalized and the B in box is capitalized. Now to properly configure the group box here, you have to add a bunch of values here. Where do you get these values? Well, again, go back to the documentation, go back to the built-in widgets page in the documentation and find the group box widget. If I scroll down, I could find it, but there is also the list here on the left-hand side of the page. Find group box right there. And here are the list of keys and their default values. And of course, you're probably going to want to change most of them. Change it to the font you want to use, the colors you want to use, etc. Just showing you a little bit of what I did. I set the font to Ubuntu Bold here for the workspace names. I set the font size to 9. You can play around with the margins and the padding. I set the border width to 1. I set the colors. If you have a border around the workspaces, you can set that to be rounded or square. And some of the other options include this current screen border. Basically, it, these are for the different kinds of workspaces. For example, the workspace that this monitor is on, the workspace that my other two monitors are on, and then the workspaces that are not currently seen by any monitor. They can all have different colors. So you can really customize the group box to your liking. And that's essentially what you're going to do with each widget you customize and each widget you add. You just go back to the documentation, find the widget you want to add. For example, I mentioned I had that Pac-Man widget. Click on that and it tells you the keys and the values for it. And I could go back and find the Pac-Man widget that I had in my widget list here. And here it is. And by default, clicking on the widget does nothing. I, I could actually make that do something right now. All I have it set to is if I click the Pac-Man widget, all it does is launch my URXVT terminal. I could actually have it execute a script, maybe a script that automatically opens a terminal and begins an update or whatever it is I want to do. Pretty neat widget. I know many of you are going to wonder about how I got the power line effect here in the panel. And there is a widget called text box. And all this widget does is display text. 
you see you have text equals and then in quotes you can have it display whatever whatever you want to write well I'm having it display a Unicode arrow you see that and that is the very front of that power line effect and then I just play with the size and the colors until I get it just right and I actually have several of those basically after every single widget I have an arrow and that is how I get that power line effect here in the Qtile bar and one of the last widgets you'll definitely want to play around with and probably want to configure a little bit is the clock the clock you obviously are gonna set the foreground and background colors you know so it matches whatever color scheme you're doing on your panel but many people probably will want to play with the format you know exactly how do you want the time and date to be displayed and you can see what I chose to go with I wanted the day of the week followed by the month followed by the day and then I've got a dash followed by the time and 24 hour time anyway that's just a little bit of how to configure the bar here in Qtile. I hope you guys, if you're just now starting to play around with Qtile, have found these few videos that I've put together in the last month or so about Qtile informative. So by now, if you're brand new to Qtile, if you've watched some of my videos, you should know how to configure your layouts, configure your workspaces, and now hopefully you know how to configure the panel in Qtile. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. This show was made possible by Ansem, Chris, Daniel, David, DJ, Stallman, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Lambda, Liam, Mitchell, Natek, Rob, Robert, Sean, and Willie. These guys are the producers of this show. Without them, you wouldn't know how to configure the bar in QTEL. You wouldn't know it. The show is also brought to you by all those other fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the screen that help support my work over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. Just go look for DistroTube over on Patreon. He's there. All right, guys. Peace.